The Light Adapter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, to the new video, BitTorrent, because uh, it's down like 4% today, but people in the Telegram, our Telegram group, are talking about a lot about BitTorrent, and they are hyping it up like, ah, it's up, it's down, it's up, oh, it's going up. So I feel I have to make this video for the guys in the Telegram group. Uh, I, mean, I mean, we have been doing a bit of the turn video for a long time, but uh, like they explain why they should not be looking at uh, small time frames and should be probably be looking just on daily time frames and stuff like that. <sighs> that said, let's get into the charts. But before that, uh, check out the Telegram group down below. Also, uh, subscribe to the channel because 10k subs almost, almost there. So hit that like uh, uh, sub button and uh, pump the numbers up a little bit before, uh, you know, so I can get to 10k. Because uh, when I once I get to 10k, my wife is going to give me a present, you know. And I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> uh, okay, enough. Uh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> So, uh, okay, so the price of, uh, of, uh, of uh, BitTorrent is uh, looking stable right now. The problem is that people are watching the price on the 5-minute chart, right? And when you watch the price on the 5-minute chart, you see these pumps, uh, you think, oh, it's going up, yeah, we're we in the clear, and then you see the big dump, and you're like, oh, you get a panic attack, you know? You should not be looking at 5-minute chart, 15, 30-minute chart, even 30-minute chart. Like, you see this, you think, oh, it's for over, we, we, we got the bottom, uh, now it's party time, and you party too soon, you know, you party too soon. If you do not know how to do technical analysis, if you're not proficient in technical analysis, you only have to watch a daily chart or a weekly chart. I have always been saying that uh, that uh, crypto works best on weekly charts, even better than daily charts. But daily charts are very good to look at, and we're going to look at the daily charts. And you, uh, if you're not very proficient in technical analysis, don't go to the small charts. You're going to get panic attacks. You're going to you, you, you're going to ruin your health. You know. Don't do. Don't look at the uh, uh, five minute charts. Look at the daily charts. Find a good price to buy in, and then uh, let it go. You know, uh, because the price doesn't actually move that much uh, during the day. I mean, yes, it can move when it's vol volatile and stuff like that. But right now, where, it, where it's getting to some kind of levels, you should be only looking at certain levels and how we are holding and where the button is gonna be. So let's go and see what's actually happening uh, down here. Uh, from somebody who actually knows how to do technical analysis uh, and see so basically when the price went all the way up to uh, up to uh, 0 13 uh, it went back down to 0 0.0074 uh, very big dump uh, how much uh, was this here i'm just wondering uh, like something like yeah 45 percent. so it was a big dump so right now it's looking some kind of low levels up here and you can see here it found support on this line over here so it went up there but it's kind of bleeding down there and it's now looking testing this support so it tested the support once to Three times you can see here it traded down here, but it closed above the line. And closing above the line is very important. And you can see here today it's trading below the line, but we want to know what's gonna happen. That's why I'm saying you cannot look at small time frame because if you look at small time frames over here on one hourly, you see it's bleeding down, it's going down, going down, going down. You cannot do that. You have to you have to go up and, and then you have to relax. And if it closes below, it closes below, you know. But uh, if it uh, closes above, then you know we got some kind of support support on the line. So we want to see if this red candle is gonna actually uh, close above this line or not that's that's very important that's very important because if it does then this uh, 79 support line actually is is kind of holding it's kind of holding it's kind of looking nice but right now we are sitting below this uh, 10 moving average up here so that's kind of bearish but we are above the 20 moving average so when we start going down if we start going down further down uh, this 60 point uh, 69 line the 69 support line uh, because of the trading here for uh, three days uh, that might actually hold and this 20 moving average on the daily might actually hold so because uh, we we can still go down there is nothing that says that we cannot go down i mean if this holds it holds it's good but right now there, there is uh there is there is no uh bullishness uh, right now to go further up uh so once these things happen once you go uh, go parabolic you pop uh, pop the uh, pop the price uh, price blows off what uh, what happens then you get into some kind of correction consolidation period that's happening right now where it's trying to find the bottom you're trying to find the lowest price it can go to uh, it's trying to force all the weekends out right so every all the weekends must sell and there is no more people to sell where it's, it's impossible to push the price further down it finds the bottom and then slowly it creeps 
up again. So you can see here on the daily right now, this uh, rubber band index is all the way down at 59. So it's, it is looking good on the daily. Uh, and this uh, this bearish cross is already start. So it is in a better, uh, bearish trend. We had, this is the second week uh, that we are having the red candle. And we are trying to pu push this uh, uh, rubber band index from above 90, 95, all the way down, to preferably to around 70 levels. But uh, we are already at 79. And this week is uh, right now it's at 75. So if this week close uh, below here, I think that might actually be uh, enough for the price to start going up. But we have to see, we have to follow it uh, week to week and see what's actually happening with the price. Also, we are kind of extended from the 10 moving average on the weekly and that's not a good thing. We want actually the price to be uh, closer to the 10 moving average. So this actually might actually uh, go even further. However you look at it, uh, we are not bearish on, on this. We, we are not expecting this to die or anything like that. The problem is that a lot of you people are... Uh, have bought the tops and now you have to suffer the pain uh, going through the correction period. That's just the way the things works. I'm sorry, but that's the way things work. I cannot give you any fairy tales. Oh, it's gonna go up. It's gonna go up, but it's not gonna go up today. Uh, that said, if it does go up today, hey, yeah, party. But if it doesn't, you know. So the probability is that it's not gonna go up today, but it can go up today. The prob probability is that this week is gonna end in uh, red, but it can be end in green. Because right now we have not confirmed this, uh, uh, this support is actually confirmed, but uh, we uh, this uh, can still break it. So if the 20 moving average com uh, starts coming above the 79 line and we are still above the 79 line, then I can start talking about, yeah, maybe we fi found some kind of bottom and uh, maybe th this is going to happen. This also looks to me that it's going to probably create some kind of a, uh, some kind of falling wedge or, over here that actually might uh, work out. So we, we th there are things that to do. Uh, we can look at this on the four hourly chart. Uh, maybe, maybe something like this, uh, but it should, it should uh, probably then go. Uh, let me just see this. Uh, this should probably go from this and then up here, something like and then it's channel. This is actually triangle, so maybe something like this to get to some kind of edge. Uh, it it, it kind of depends what, what it, this is. Maybe it's gonna find the support on 4 and 100. But right now, there is no actual decent indication that uh, we have found any kind of bottom, so we just have to stick around. If you're a hodler and you're gonna hold it, you have no other uh, chance to do it. But stop looking at small time frames. I know you for all guys in Telegram group, stop looking at small time frames. You cannot do anything about it. You're just gonna get a heart attack, you know. Uh, especially if you're not trading. If you're trading this uh, actively, like small time frames and stuff like that, you know what you're doing, and then you know what small time frames are for. But small time frames are not for watching when the price is gonna go up if you're already a hodler, you know. Just uh, turn on the big time frames and uh, go from there. That said, Again, subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe to the channel. Almost 10k subs. Uh, doing nicely. Check the Telegram group below and check the Patreon. Uh, we got we do like 50 videos, BitTorrent included, every single day BitTorrent on YouTube channel and on the on the on the on the, on the uh, daily altcoin video on our Patreon. So if you want more information about it or what other altcoins you should maybe consider, maybe that's the thing for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye. And uh, sorry to bring you bad news, but that's that's life. It's not actually bad news, it's gonna go up, but it's, uh, it's not good news. Bye-bye.